Hey guys, Brent Boyer from Adam again. So I wanted to talk today about a, an issue that comes up uh, now and then. A, a client asked me recently, you know, can I, uh, so his question was, can I require my wife to change her name after we're divorced? You know, you get married and your wife takes your last name and then, uh, you know, unfortunately things are coming to an end and you're getting divorced and then the question is, what happens to her last name? Can I require her to change her last name uh, during the divorce? So first of all, don't forget to hit like and uh, subscribe. If you're new, please subscribe. Of course, if you've been to the channel before, then you're already subscribed, but please hit like, it helps us out. So the question is, can I require her to change her last name? So a name change is pretty typical during a divorce case. It's, you know, it's not unusual to do that. And um, of course, men typically keep their name the same. So it's more, you know, with women and do, are they gonna change their last name? So there's no way to require her to change her last name. She certainly can, you know, call herself whatever she wants. She could do a name change. You could make it a request as part of your uh, negotiating, but there would be no way to require it. You can't say, well, it's my last name and she can't have it and I want the name changed. So there's no way to actually do that. Um, of course, it probably depends on whether you have children or not, how important this last name is and how relevant the last name is to things. If your kids have the last name and you know everybody's got the same last name and you're getting divorced, your wife's probably more likely to keep that last name, you know, unless of course she remarries. So that's the way it is, the way Michigan law is. There's no way to require someone to change their last name after they're divorced. It's, it's typical for people to do it. A lot of people don't. Um, so that's kind of what that looks like. But I wanted to give you a sense of what this, you know, what's involved with this and how this really goes during, uh, during a divorce case. So name change itself, very easily done. You file some paperwork with the court and get your name changed. People will sometimes put that in their divorce judgment that they're doing a name change. And you really don't want to be doing that. You're going to want to avoid that because you don't want to have to show your divorce judgment to Secretary of State or wherever else you're going to verify that you've changed uh, your last name. So you normally the name change part is more advice for women than for men. It's women are way more likely to change their name when they get married, although I've seen a couple of times here and there where men have done it. But in general, that's the case. Even though people do change their name when they get married and they might then change their last name after they get divorced, there would be nothing that makes that mandatory or required. It's just something that happens uh, with some frequency. So I hope that helps. You know, if there's any questions, of course, let me know. Thanks.